Hello, I'm Dr. David Hornbrook, the Clinical Director here at Keating Dental Arts in Irvine, California. Today I'm going to talk about what I call one of my practice enhancers. Not only I think is it going to allow me to give more comfortable dentistry, but it also allows me to use technology that I think the patients will talk about when they discuss their dentist in my community. Today we're going to talk about the wand. This came out uh, over a decade ago, it was originally called the WAND, then the WAND 2, then the Compudent, and then the STA. And then they renamed it last year the WAND because the familiarity with that name. STA stands for Single Tooth Anesthesia. So let's look at this. This is Jake. Jake, do you mind if I don't wear a mask just for video purposes? Normally I put a mask on. I promise I don't have any onions for lunch. All right. So. We're going to do a single central on Jake, and the first injection I'm going to show you is what we call an AMSA, anterior medial superior alveolar. We all know that if we were to do six, eight, or ten veneers, or even a single central, we numb the patient up in the buccal vestibule, and then we try it in, we ask the patient to smile, and of course the lip is like this. Or if we try six or eight or ten veneers in there, they can't move their lips. So I don't want lip anesthetic. I want lip mobility. Also, with multiple units, let's say I was going to do eight or ten veneers, that's eight to ten different injection sites. And if you've ever had any anterior dentistry or you ask your patients or call them the next night, they'll say what was the most uncomfortable was the injection sites. So this is the STA. It has a very small hand piece. I like to use a 30 gauge short although it is available in different sizes. This would be a 27 gauge long, which if we were to do an, an IA, an inferior alveolar block, we would use this, although in a moment I'll show you that what we're doing most of the time, 99% of the time, we're given PDL injections, not the blocks. So we're gonna go ahead and use Septicane. The way this machine works, it actually is a computer activated anesthetic delivery device and it works on black back pressure. We've all given paddle injections where you put the needle in, you squeeze and it seems like nothing's coming out. All of a sudden a burst of anesthetic comes out, the patient sc screams because of the pain and the expansion of the tissue, then you back up again. I mean, it, we have a difficulty giving injections, especially in the palatal. This anesthetic delivery device can give injections much slower than anyone can do manually. And it measures the black pr back pressure and then delivers the anesthetic to compensate for that back pressure. So we can either aspirate or not aspirate. The nice thing about aspiration is once I take my foot off the foot pedal, because it is foot pedal activated, as I pull the needle out of the tissue, the aspiration will actually pull that excess anesthesia that lies in the needle and the delivery wand. It'll pull that back and suction it back so it doesn't go in the patient's mouth. So, we're going to go ahead and put the aspirate. We can either leave the STA or not on. That's a single tooth anesthetic. What that does, it measures back pressure to see if you truly are in the PDL space. Lots of times you know you try to give a PDL. You're pushing, 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 nothing comes out. Other times you push and it just easily comes out of the syringe. You're probably not in the PDL space.